I'm really stuck on things sometimes. I had the same bed from third grade to sophomore year in college. When I was um, young, like really young, I had this like little luminary business, um, Christmas luminaries. And uh, in sixth grade, I went out and door to door sold. I was like, how would you like these lights? Like, you know, I was trying to start my own little like business thing. I feel like having that ability to really take ownership of something um, and say, hey, I started this from the bottom and, <laughs> and now we're here. Um, that's, that's really what kind of drives me on the day to day. I grew up in the middle of nowhere next to a steel plant. I was uh, supposed to work for the, for the steel company. Uh, like everyone else did in that small village. I'm a sales director. I'm taking care of, of the Swedish banks. It's, it's quite complicated. It's a puzzle. You need to get it all right, and it's uh, quite hard. It's tricky. I, I like that. Nasdaq is great. Well, I'm from New Zealand originally, and once you escape New Zealand, you tend to keep going. And I, I ended up in Australia uh, working for a small company which was acquired by an Australian company which sold the business to OMX. And then, you know, of course, Nasdaq and OMX became one company. It was a garage startup in Australia, uh, no HR. Uh, the guy that did the accounts was the father of one of the founders. It was a bit more entrepreneurial. My father was programming with plugboard computers back in the 70s. Computers are hugely powerful now compared to what they used to be. So our job, I think, is to harness that power and to use it to do better things. I came in as a junior index analyst. And to be honest, I didn't know much about indexes, uh, more than the, that what I saw on the, on the screens. Never really realizing how much effort and work there was actually behind getting those indexes out there. Even though Nasdaq is a fairly large company, you can still, within your business unit, you still get a, a feeling of that you can be a little bit of an entrepreneur. Your views, your suggestions, they, they have an impact and you can really make a difference. Bob Greifeld, the CEO of Nasdaq, has lunch with all of the employees, which is really unique. And he always asks, you know, sort of what can be improved in the organization. And that's something that I mentioned was, I would like increased transparency to the marketing communication side from the businesses. And I spoke to our CMO shortly thereafter. I know it's something that Bob then talked to him about. And now um, we recently did goals for 2015 and increased transparency was one of the goals. I'm not gonna say it was totally my doing, uh, but I think exciting to see my voice actually heard you know, and that trickling down to real action. I came in as a very entry-level person, and to have a C-suite level person make themselves that available to you is empowering. If you're up for the challenge, you're given the opportunity, and you can keep going. You're around good people who are, um, who are willing to see you succeed just as much as they'd like to succeed. So you're given the opportunity and encouraged to take the opportunity to develop and create value for the company as an employee of NASDAQ. And I think that's what makes this company so fantastic.